Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Some Hong Kong media have picked up a newspaper report on how I left a lucrative lawyer's practice to pursue a new business. They are particularly interested to note that I have invested close to $100 million into my skincare business over 10 years. Their conclusion is either I am filthily rich or I have no idea what I have been doing. <laughs> Let me assure you, while I had been fortunate to be in the right place at the right time and my professional practice had been relatively lucrative, I did work very hard in the legal business. So it was hard-earned money. On the other hand, I also know what I have been doing by not calling it quits over a 10-year period which has not yet given me any monetary return. When I was little, I was a bright student. I did not have to work too hard. In class, I was always all attention and hanged on each word that the teachers said. I always challenged all the teachers with questions which they found hard to answer. And then they would say, when you grow up, Angela, you should be a lawyer. <laughs> so, being a lawyer is something that is probably in my blood. As for the skincare business, it is something which I have a passion for. Again, when I was little, people would say, a woman of 40 is like a used tea bag. <laughs> she is not worth anything because her looks are gone. So I have always been obsessed with finding ways to prevent that fate from befalling me. So skin care is something which I have a deep interest in. I used to explore skincare products in the market, but more importantly, I explored the many different kinds of natural ingredients that are good for the skin, including egg white, cucumber, banana skin, and even chicken soup. Let me tell you, I turned 40 almost 20 years ago. I hope... <laughs> almost, almost. I hope you will agree that I still do not look like a used tea bag. <laughs> when my brother came home as a migrant returnee from Canada 10 years ago, I encouraged him to work on finding a concoction which could wipe away the signs of aging. When he did put something together after a few months' research, we, meaning myself and my sister and my medical doctor brother-in-law, decided to invest in building up a research team to develop effective skin care. My own skin care experience formed the basis of the directions for the research team. Yes, just shelling out cash regularly without seeing any return over the years had not been easy particularly when I have a husband who is a shrewd accountant breathing down my neck on when I expect to see a return. On the other hand, apart from a passion in the products, developing skincare products to fend off aging just for myself is too much of a luxury. So it was more than that which keeps me in the resolution to succeed. Over the years, the products have received accolades and reassurances from many quarters. One of the leading experts on our R&D team was an emeritus dermatology professor from the US. He was once a science advisor of the White House, and he led many research projects for the most famous skincare brands of the world. When he returned to Hong Kong, he shunned offers from the biggest local bioresearch company and decided to join us because he assured me that our products were already among the top league in the world 
and the direction of using traditional Chinese medicinal herbs and Western aromatherapy herbs is the way to go. One of our masks also came first in a test for antioxidant contents conducted by the Hong Kong Productivity Council, surpassing many world-famous brands. In another case, one of our anti-aging creams was shown in a clinical trial to have reduced the fine lines and emerging wrinkles of all 30-plus participants by an average of 78%. Our products are so good that one of the French dermatology uh, professor offered from France offered to help camouflage our pr products as a French brand. I politely declined and told him that I am going to keep Jane Clare as the first international skincare brand from Hong Kong, China. So watch out for Jane Clare in the market if you want to look young and beautiful. Thank you. Thank you.